Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. Episode number 25 starts off with another air attack on Battle Group 1. Uh, this time it is a bunch of zeros. Unfortunately, our cap had just pulled back to Wasp to uh, rearm. Uh, they are coming at us with, uh, looks like about a dozen zeros. Kind of curious where a group... Oh, there they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. About a dozen zeros. So, suspected carrier in the area. Um, we could possibly... Wouldn't be a bad idea to launch, uh... More scouts than what we have. Um, one of our scouts did get intercepted by a... Uh flight of two dozen float planes and shot down. We took one of them with us, but that doesn't change the fact that they know we've got a pretty heavy presence in the area. Uh, one hit on Colorado. Uh, looks like these guys are moving in on Warrington. Let's see if we can get Warrington out of harm's way. Oh, we almost got hit by a shot down plane there with our, uh, Atlanta, that would have been bad. Uh, I think they might be going for Perth, which is bad because Perth is uh, critical damage. Yeah, they're dropping on Perth, and they hit Perth. Uh, luckily, zeros don't carry that big of bombs. So even uh, on an already damaged warship, they're not gonna cause a whole lot of. A ruckus. Wow. Alright, well. Pensacola, Perth. Colorado. Warrington. In Atlanta. Head out. Oh, here comes our, our scout. One scout here. Like they are splitting off to uh, come in behind us. We'll have them dodge. For some reason he doesn't feel like dropping his altitude. There we go. Dive to the deck, buddy. Dive to the deck. We need your scouting. Oh, no good. Another wildcat from Wasp down. Uh, doesn't look like they're uh, overly interested in strafing us, so uh, we're going to get our damages fixed and uh, continue on. I have plans for Battle Group 1. Um, Colorado, which is heavy and minor, that she could st technically stay in the area, uh, but I'm going to use her as a bombardment along with Pensacola. Uh, Perth is pretty fucked up, so she's definitely going to have to go back. Uh, Atlanta and Warrington, um, they could stay in the area, but I'm also going to send them back to... Uh, I'm just going to send the whole group back. There. I said it. Every single one of them going back. Uh, the only one I might not release is the Pensacola and the Atlanta, which I could add to uh, Task Force... Mac once they get up there um, but we're gonna have to get some supplies down in order to facilitate a successful um, invasion of our next objective which we can talk about back on the strategic map so sit back relax and enjoy today's episode episode number 25 All right, so, like I said, I have had have plans for Battle Group 1. Uh, this is our next objective, Shortland Islands. Uh, we have stripped 
Port Moresby down to 1,241 troops, and uh, Milton Bay is down to 511. They're all on Transport 2. Transport 2 is heading over to Guadalcanal, which is not looking bad at all. Um, they're probably going to retake that pretty soon. Um, the next group that I put together, or hopefully don't have to put together, because these guys might be up there in time uh, to pick up the supplies needed to uh, go along with an invasion there. We could add two more if I have the command points by the time they get up there. But um, they're going to come down. I think that they're going to be the first wave. Once they get down there, we'll have the, uh, I think we have 2,000 troops or 4,000 troops up here on Midway, 4,030. So that 4,030 troops is going to probably head right for uh, Shortland. The rest of the group's going to be carrying um, supplies. Uh, supplies is going to be the hard thing because we're probably going to end up putting about uh, 10,000 or so troops on here. And I don't have the transports to cover supplies from there to there. And also building up the base back to a level 2 and eventually a level 3. So we can rearm right here at Guadalcanal. So there's that. We got Battle Group 1 here patrolling uh, kind of in a central location. Well, moving around. Um, the... Enterprise is here, Wasp is here, Yorktown is here, uh, Thresher, I think, yep, Thresher is here, Autog, we've got Trusty heading back, Ruin heading up to get more torpedoes, and that's the situation. So, Shortland Islands is our next goal, and I'm going to work on that, uh, hopefully in this episode. Alright, we got some zeros out there. You guys are bugging our battle group again. But we have a 24 plane attack package moving in from, uh, oh, I should have been paying a little closer attention here. 24 plane wildcat cap there. That's what I'm trying to say here. Brain freeze. We got 24 of them. Now they're all going after this guy, this one guy out here. Make him pay for his bombing our destroyer. Not gonna last very long. There he goes. Whoops. I think that's all of them too. Oh no. Oh, I'm surprised the uh, wildcats actually split up and all go after the same plane. Here he is out here. Let's see how he does. He did pretty good for having so many wildcats shooting at him at once. All right, well. Warrington did take a bomb. But she's going to get all fixed up and be good to go. So... Hopefully I can bring you a little more than uh, airstrikes here. Those can be pretty repetitive. Take a look at this battleship here. Looking very nice. Oh, 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 hold up. Pause. Sorry. You get to... Always looking for a good thumbnail. Not really good. Uh, all right, well, there you go. May or may not use that, I don't know. The inner workings of J76NY's YouTube channel are not really your problem and I won't bother you with them anymore. 
All right, the next attack is inbound. We have uh, our normal cap up, plus all the scouts that had just happened to be right over this battle group. Oh, one for one. Uh, we got a group coming in from down here. We got a few people, few uh, wildcats heading in on her there. All right, they're taking on this one. Oh, these are not zeros. Here is a flight of six heavy bombers. Why not? Oh, these aren't zeros either. They have bombs. Something for our fighters to deal with. Shoot them. Ram them, maybe. Do something. Uh, like he shot his own guy down. Well, let's hope these guys have some better luck here. These guys, these guys are zeros. These guys are not. Obviously, um, tell me you're all going after the first group. Just start shooting, man. There's one, two, three. It's okay to switch your targets. I will. I honestly wouldn't mind. I won't think less of you if you change your mind mid trigger pull here. And these wildcats suck for fucking speed. These bombers are outranging us. What about that guy? He's right there. Okay, stop. Where's everybody else? There's one. Get him, get him, get him. There you go. And the last one here. I don't think any anyone else is uh, occupied at the moment. Just... All of our wildcats with this one, one guy here. He can't seem to get behind him. Shoot. There you go. Good job. All right. I think that's everybody. I uh, know there's one more. Somewhere. right here <laughs> I won't really bother with that let him go let one survive to tell the rest of his friends what happened here today what happened here today was everybody got shot down now they know we have carriers. And these guys are a master, masters of planning. 721 at night, two carriers in the area. One crappy autog sub. Well, I guess this is, uh, I'm going to try again, even though I know it's fruitless. Yeah, see?
Oh, man. Well, Autog. Maybe if we just damage them, they'll leave us the fuck alone. Let's find out. It is dark. Dark, dark, dark. I'm going to go with the same approach as the last time. Except I'm going to target both in the uh, in the center here. Uh, questionable whether or not we're going to get into range in time, though. We should. We should if we kind of try and intercept them out here. I'm not going to have the spreads as wide as what they were. Although... Although launching manually with a really wide spread out of front and rear tubes. Like this. May actually throw the uh, group into more of a funk and cause more damage. If we hit anything at all, and I don't have faith that I would actually do that. So we're going to go with uh, my original plan here. Uh, bow tubes. We're going to go with six. We'll go with a three degree spread. Why not? Certain tubes will uh, we'll keep it at three degrees. Launch uh, launch on uh, the Ryujo first. It was hard to identify this. Well, not the carrier, but the uh, transport. Because it's so dark. But eventually I did, and uh, we're going to move in on the attack. Hopefully these one, two ships actually uh, take the torpedoes. We've got a heavy cruiser. I think we actually have two heavies. Now there's a light transport destroyer. Uh, transport here. I think that's, uh, that's the uh, fancy light cruiser. Maybe not. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to move ahead with our attack. Uh, right now we're at 8,000 yards out. Eh. They want to switch my targets to this guy. Actually go with the... Uh, with my original plan here. Let's identify him. He's easier to identify. Squat sack. 6,000 yards. Right. Uh, target. We're get the carrier first. They're pretty close in, so... If this strike doesn't work in driving them back, uh, being 7.30 at night, 8 o'clock at night, we aren't going to get an airstrike in on them. And I just pulled all the troops off of uh, Milne Bay. See how that one works? My poor troops, the Marines, are going to feel like a ping pong ball by the time uh, we actually get to make a move on another base in the Solomons. So... All right, Tautog is going to get into position. Uh, hopefully, come up with a little better than 16% solution.
And so this may be fairly hard to see, but this is our first bow strike of torpedoes that should have t hit the carrier. One hit, one dud on the cargo ship that we're aiming for with our stern tubes, which are still inbound, by the way. Out there somewhere. Right here. Now destined to hit absolutely nothing. Whereas, uh... These are all gonna, well... It doesn't turn that much. Ah, they're gonna miss. These, on the other hand, may hit uh, Kamigawa Maru in the stern. Probably not, but... Yeah. If she turns completely around, it could work in our favor. I'm not seeing it, though. We did, uh... Well, it says moderate and moderate, but there's a hell of a fire going on this ship here. We got anything out front that may circle back and us? Oh. Why the ship's half dark like that? Come on, keep turning. Oh, they're not going to. Yeah, they're going to miss. Nothing out here that's going to accidentally run into our torpedoes. The other group that was intended for you. I think that's them right there. No, maybe not. That's so dark, I can't even see. Well, at least we got a hit. There's another group of torpedoes here. I wish I could see that other... Yeah, there's four. Although that doesn't mean anything, considering out of six, one hit, one was a dud. You have more torpedoes out there somewhere. I just absolutely cannot see them. Nope. Like leaning into my screen. Oh, there they are right there. All right, well. Oh, they missed the, uh, if they were aiming at. I will, uh, monitor the situation and anything looks like uh, may work out in our favor, I'll get back to you. I know the game doesn't model this, but I'm going to go with they have spies on New Guinea. Because they seem to know exactly when I pull troops off here. This is the second time this has happened. And there they are. How many do we have? Because we're probably going to have to send them back.
Yeah. <laughs> and they're almost to the Guadalcanal, too. Guadalcanal is almost taken. So, Autog's going to get another shot at them. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, what do we got? 8 o'clock at night? Battle Group 1's never going to get there in time. I'm not engaging with these two groups. So, Tautog, scare them away, buddy. Scare them away. Uh, we didn't exactly spawn in a good spot here. So, 16% solution. We've got two in our front, two in our rear. It's going to be the same thing. Eighteen percent, nineteen percent. Or what happened if I turn my radar on? I'd probably alert them to our presence. All right. Well, I don't have much faith in this attack app working, but maybe we'll get lucky and miss and hit the carrier. I guess we can hope. Alright, well this isn't going to get any better than what it is, so... Away you go. All a 20% solution. We'll wait till they get even with our bow tubes to, uh... Got them. go hey 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 end up chasing them well here we go two out of the front where did the two out of the rear go there they are and maybe they'll get there about the same time Here's our sub, here's our torpedoes, here's our torpedoes. Well, Tata, get out of here. Might as well. Might as well. So in case that was too dark for you to see and tell, that was two separate within feet near misses on two different ships. All right. The first one, the bow shot, was this guy. This guy right past his propellers. Two separate, very near misses. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating indeed. But we're going to continue on and watch them take Milne Bay. Then probably turn our troops around and send them back. Apparently I can't take troops off there at all. So it is what it is. And there they are. Counter with Milne Bay. See what happens. Nope.
Oh god. Ah <laughs> yeah, okay. That's all you put on there? Was that? All right, well, I guess that's how we deal with that. Send back 900 more troops. Oh, you know, sometimes games just grate on your nerves. You don't really want to play them. This is one of those times. But we will continue on and make the best of a bad situation. It's the next day. We have our cap up, our 10 Wildcats from uh, Wasp over Battle Group 1. I did put them right in close to land to look for that group. I went to tactical a couple times to see if I could find them at night. Uh, we did not, however. So, they're still in the area though, because these are all zeros. That's not a zero, I know, but there are zeros. They're out there. See them? Keep shooting them. Don't give up. No, he can out turn you and all, but I don't want him to. Uh... No bomb my ships. Look our wildcats are handling it though. Wildcats are handling it fairly nice. may actually be they're either dodging me or coming in for a strafing run there we go anyone else I think there are. Oh. Alright. Good to go. Uh, we somehow got five command points. I'm not really sure where that came from. Uh, uh, Trusty's in the area. He's back after rearming. Autog's heading home to... Do the same. Bruint is up in position to rearm. And, uh, Task Force Mac is, um, in position, ready to leave. I did add, uh, yeah, I want to say, I think it was a Northampton class I added. She came out of, uh, rest and repair. I added her to the group. Um, just waiting on uh, enough command points to possibly throw a Atlanta in there. Maybe another destroyer or whatnot, and then send them down. Uh, and then uh, Battle Group One's going to head back to get fixed up. And uh, Task Force Mac is going to have this whole area to herself. Uh, and loaded all the troops at Bottle Canal. Now I have 14,000 troops and 257 supplies. So it won't be long before we retake that. Uh, Milne Bay is not much of a threat. They're losing men, but uh, we got this one coming over to drop off 900 more. 
And hopefully they can do it without any ammo. Or food. But... That's the situation in the Solomons as of... 3.40 in the afternoon on June 30th, 1942. Day 125 of our campaign. And here... Are these guys... As you can see, we're uh, firing out on them. Our uh, wildcats are moving in. We just disrupted their attack. I don't think our surface group has anything to worry about from this one, so... We're going to let the wildcats do their things. They've actually been doing pretty good. Um, these are the 10 from... Uh, wasp they've been engaged in uh, multiple dog fights and we haven't lost any of them so that's a good thing aircraft lost oh uh, yeah carrier bombers Carrier dive bombers. Should uh maybe focus on them. Not worry so much about the uh fighters. Not waste all of our ammo on the fighters. We should probably send, uh... Ah, Brace, there's a lot of them. Alright. We'll send two after these guys, which are... Oh, shit. Torpedo bombers. All right, let's uh, spring into action here. Atlanta, we're gonna get you out, turned around. Uh, Earth looks like she may be a target. Colorado. Oh man, they're All right. Well, you're right next to them, so start shooting. Ah, oh, this could be bad. There's one. There's two. There's three, thank God. All right. We're shooting them down pretty good. All right, we did lose one Wildcat, though. Uh, I'm going to start redirecting some of my Wildcats out here. Not even going to concern myself with who they may or may not be engaging at this present time. But I'm a lot more afraid of dive bombers than I am of uh, fighters with little bombs. So we'll just send all the wildcats out. I think we got all the fighters down, actually. There's a float plane. Not anymore. All right.
Not a lot of ammo on our uh, planes anymore. What's happening out here? Kind of mess I'm causing, not paying attention. One of our wildcats just got shot down. We are down to seven wildcats from Wasp, Pensacola. Head north, Warrington. I want you to come out the rear of the, sh the group. Atlanta. Come out to the rear of the group. Look at that. A lot more of them than there are of our wildcats. Yeah. Turn quickly. Perth is the target of this one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no! Ah. Perth hit by a direct bomb. Or direct hit by a bomb. Like Colorado is, uh. Yep, she got dived on. Three hits. There we go. A little more damage for you. That it. Uh, Warrington. At least we got the uh, torpedo bombers taken care of. Lost another wildcat. What are we down to? Seven. Ouch. We still. Who the hell? Oh, come on, really? 51? We're going to lose all our wildcats. It's a mess. Look at this. Look at that. I don't even know what to think about this. We are not targeting the right plane. Here, turn around and shoot these guys. 50 zeros. It's got to be their entire complement is a zeros. More than one. This is insane. What are they attacking us with? 58. 58 total planes. Alright, at least our surface group is going to get out of here uh, mostly unscathed. Till all our wildcats get shot down and then... Uh, yeah. Don't worry about the bombers, guys. <laughs> oh, poor wildcat. Two of them left. Where are they? They're surrounded. Look at this. Fly for your life. <laughs> At least we're kind of putting them on, uh...
kind of throwing them for a loop here, trying to figure out what we're doing. Eventually, they're all going to get a good bead on us, though. Like, okay. uh, where are they going? Are they still attacking our one wildcat? Don't worry about attacking, just try and get out. It's not going to happen, but we can manually take control and... Hello? Try and get out. Yeah, look at them all. <laughs> Ever feel like you're having a really bad day? And now you know what this guy feels like. I'll climb. Oh. All right, now what are they going to do? Or if they're even gonna attack us. Oh, uh, it's Perth doing nineteen knots. Pensacola, you should probably come around her. Alright, Warrington's moving to the back of the formation, as is uh, the Atlanta. Slow her turn a little bit here. She's shooting. Gotta fly past. rest of our group here who is not shooting at him at all I don't even know if they're uh, interested in attacking us they look like they're just flying by I think they're just flying by. Yeah, they're just flying by. I think I'm going to stick around and wait for them to change their mind. So. Alright, well, uh... 10 out of 10 wasp uh, wildcats are now casualties of the war. And it's 5 o'clock, so I guess we could, uh, I don't want to lose all my wildcats off uh, Enterprise. <sighs> but there's a carrier in the area. That's... That much is certain. I shouldn't have launched all 12, but... 
Hopefully they don't discover us down here. Uh, Milne Bay. Bottle Canal. Wait a minute. Oh. Wow, I completely misread that. I, I absolutely completely misread that. Jesus. All right. Uh, okay, well, go get the troops. I'm going to call this episode right here. Some bad news here. Really, uh, can't believe I misread that. I thought, yeah, all right. Take a break, I guess. Anyway, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, put those in the comment section below. If you want to follow along through our, what is this, turning out to be our base game campaign for the Solomon Islands, hit the subscribe. And uh, we'll see you for the next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.